yeah, up next we've got uh, Nautical Squatch, I believe. Let us say um, hi. Should we say see. hi? Hello. Well, hey, gang. Hey! hey. I'm loving yeah. the anticipation on these uh, yeah. <laughs> these intros. It's so good. Well, I appreciate you having me on. Um, I want to actually thank, I need to give a big thank you to Tom uh, oh. for getting my booth in. Yes. You got my booth in, buddy. Because I had I had an issue with my booth, and I made a plea, a desperate plea in, in a time of strife to get the booth that I wanted in, and he made it happen. So I, I really appreciate it. And, and Jen, obviously, the, the write-up. Oh, um, an and absolute insider honor. Made every, everybody really, really excited in a really genu uh, genuine way. So I really appreciate that. Ah, oh. We're massive uh, Dead Zone fans. We are massive Dead Zone fans. Yeah. We played it on the stream. We've played it by ourselves. That's the, the, the first game, the previous game before before this new one. But yeah, it, it's so great to have you on the show. Um, and we're going to look through a little bit of this showcase that you've submitted to Dreamscom that people can check out for themselves in game. Uh, and we're going to talk to you a little bit about yours and the team's work on uh, this game that's coming up. So how about we kick off with you introducing yourself as we're doing, uh, maybe a little bit about you and where you're from. Uh, and then, yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah, my, my name is Chris. Uh, I'm not just watching the old uh, the Dreamiverse there. And I, uh, I'm a graphic designer. I'm an illustrator. And um, basically, yeah, I, I wanted to make a... I wanted to make a uh, kind of a zombie-like shooter, and it's turned into a lot bigger of a thing than, <laughs> than just that. It turned out to be a whole thing, um, and people really came on. And it, what started as just me, you know, making some silly, some silly zombie game, turned into like a whole team. I mean, look at all these names. Yeah. Um, pe people much more talented than I coming on and uh, wanting to be a part of the project. So I'm honored, and it's been really fun. Oh, I don't blame them because uh, it was you and I believe, do you know what? I'm going to read it out so I get the words and the right, the letters in the right order. It was you and JTBK Nugget Sauce um, who, yes, who worked on the first Dead Zone Dang. that really uh, blew us all away. This, uh, like you say, amazing sort of FPS, like zombie wave uh, uh, game with a great sense of humor looking really beautiful. Um, and now And now we're back with this kind of new iteration a sequel i don't know like maybe you can tell us a little bit about what it is and uh what we might expect from it when it uh, eventually launches yeah sure so as you can see on screen there was a little a rob robot guy that's my that's my boy rob and he was okay. beloved on the mm stream i remember that you guys were very complimentary <laughs> he is my favorite um, <laughs> Yeah, this guy, man, we just want to make it fun, a really fun first-person shooter, and we're doing a lot of work, um, and I, there's some people that, that need some acknowledgement for the amount of work they're putting in, specifically, number one, um, one of the unsung heroes of the Dreamerverse, I, I, I would say, is, is Vorium, um, Vorium PSN, right. he's in chat right now, and that guy's a, uh, a master of the dream, uh, he's a master of logic, and we're building enemy systems from the ground up, uh, we're building shooting from the ground up, a uh, whole new, you, you, it's going to not feel like any other shooter in Dreams. I'm really happy about that. Um, he's putting a lot of work into it. Obviously, as we can see, these horrific monsters, <laughs> they the incredible work in the best way. Team. Yes, yes. Uh, the incredible work of Typhus. Oh, the Typhus. Man, the creep. <laughs> <laughs> that so we all good. know and love, so which good. is Typhus. Yeah, so he's on it. He's, he's making all the monsters. Um, and one shot Scott doing the robot designs. Um, and then we even have a, a, a lovely ghost fruit, oh. a lovely ghost oh. fruit making uh, a lot of uh, environmental work. We're not too deep into that aspect. We're still working on gameplay, but uh, so the, the, those are some of the people. And you, and you mentioned earlier, Jen, uh, JT Beacon Nugget Sauce. Uh, he's writing all this awesome music if you're hearing it on. Oh, the, on yeah, the we show totally now. are. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. So very happy. About that. Super talented team. Lots and lots of more, like more names besides. Um, it it really is like a huge blur, a huge extended team. You're really, really going for it, and it's great that so many people have rallied around to collaborate with you. I have to talk to you a little bit more about this gun. Um, nautical, that's, that's, that's because cool. my goodness, the, so cool. I mean, uh, Reese, our, uh, our junior designer, Reese, just about lost his mind when he saw this <laughs> and insisted that he wanted to write about uh, Dead Zone. Um, tell us a little bit about this. It's transforming. Is this is this playable? Is this going to be shootable in the game? Oh, that's your weapon. <sighs> that's your that is the weapon that you have in the game. So number one. 
Um, I'm going to brag about this gun because I didn't do it. I didn't make it. <laughs> Morium made it. Oh, um, talk it up. And and not only did he make it, so I talked, he was one of the, he, he kind of came out early, and I was like, I was like, Morium, I got this idea, right? Like, I, uh, I want a, I want an assault rifle that <laughs> turns into a double barrel shotgun. I don't know if he can do it. <laughs> he comes back in one day with this wow. amazing, nice. not this. He comes back with a different, like a different prototype that was perfect. Oh. Everybody collectively cries at how much they love this gun he made. <laughs> and then he goes, that's nothing. Let me try it again. And then like within a week, he made what you see before you. Wow. Um, this incredible gun that transforms. Um, and you're, yeah, so he gets all the credit. He sculpted it. And he did all of the logic that makes it work. That um, is fantastic. And, yeah, yeah. Oh my so God. That, that was him. And so I did, I, I made all the customization. And I, I think that's going to be one of the things I've, that I've loved so far about. I know we only have a showcase. I wish I could show you gameplay, but I don't want to cyberpunk it. Okay. <laughs> I want to be ready. You know, oh, I want it to be ready. And uh, I like cyberpunk, but you know. And so, like, I want it to be ready, right? Like, and, and so we, we got this. And one of the things that I'm really excited about this, this game is people are going to be able to customize their weapon and make it silly and colorful, like you see here. <laughs> like um, I have done very, very like silly. you have done. You have demoed that. Mode. Very well. One thing I have yeah. to ask you, I'm so curious about, you mentioned the logic on this gun. Um, like, will the modes change, the firing modes, uh, like depending on which form you have it transformed into? How's that going to affect gameplay? Um, what's going on there? Yeah, so, you know, I kind of, uh, like, I always found, like, I'm, I'm a, I like shooters, you know, and I always found myself in many shooters, not all of them, you know, but in a lot of shooters, you end up just having your two favorites, right? Your, right. your two favorite guns you switch back and forth from. And my two favorite guns is your your boomstick and then your kind of mid to long range gun, right? Those are the two kind of things. So why not just have those two gameplay, you know, features in, in your weapon itself, right? Yeah. Let's not worry about weapon pickups. Let's not worry about like having this huge array of weapons when you're, since we're only gonna do two weapons, most players are only gonna do two or three weapons maybe, let's just choose those two things and do those right. And so, yeah, the double barrel is going to uh, function just like a double barrel should, right? W wide range, huge damage, two shots, got to reload. And the, uh, yeah, and the, the assault rifle will focus like that. And you're, and, and you're going to be able to change, you know, upgrade each individually with upgrades throughout the game. Oh my gosh, amazing. That's so good to hear. I'm so excited to just like flip between these two modes because, you know, in, in the original Dead Zone, for anyone out there who hasn't played it, you should. Um, but you know you have these waves of monsters coming at you, uh, obviously much improved in this in this sequel, um, and and you have to take them down really quickly. And uh, you know part of that is going to be like switching between the short range and the long range weapons. For that, it's going to be just add so much like dy dynamism to those encounters, right? Where where else can we expect to go in Dead Zone Aberration environments wise? I know you're still working on them with Go Through. Um, but like the first game had some beautiful scenery. So like what kind of concepts are you whipping up for where we're going to explore uh, with our robot buddy? Oh, I mean, it, it makes it, uh, number one, just want to let you guys know, it makes us so excited to hear that you guys care about this at all. Oh, that, like, like you guys are we love interested it, dude. at all. If it, we're all in the discord and, and, and really happy about that. Um, and, and one, one last thing about the gun and then I'll answer. Andrew's oh, question. oh, sorry. go for I, it. I we love the gun. <laughs> out, I'm sorry, I need to shout out sounds like treble. I know someone said in chat earlier that the gun sounds sound amazing. And that was because of sounds like treble doing amazing work to, um, to make it sound like that. Um, oh. So I, I need to shout that out. We um, love our audio designers. Big up. Yeah, big up. He's going to take it to a new level. I'm, I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, no, um, the first level, um, who doesn't love a good old train? Level? <gasps> oh. so I, I will say the first level yes. of the game, you're going to be on a moving train. Um, and we're just taking the inspiration from uh, the like some some we, like classics that I really like. I just love. Remember Time Splitters? I don't know if you played Time Oh, Splitter. we yeah. love Time oh, Splitters absolutely. here. Isn't that game awesome? It's so, so silly and like it's so <laughs> silly and ridiculous. And like that's the kind of vibe we want to go for. We just want players to have fun with it. So well, let's do a moving train level and you're shooting robots and monsters and it doesn't need to make sense. It just needs to feel good. I love that. That's that's one of the things that like is dead zone for me from that first game that I'm really happy to hear you're carrying over is it's such a fun shooter. There's so many, you know, grim, dark, uh, you know, kind of super serious shooters. And that's great. But it's super refreshing to to play one that has a real sense of humor that first game did. And so like, I'm so glad that, uh, you know, we've got the team back. We've got the gang back together. Plus, to to really carry over that that kind of vibe because that's what makes Dead Zone for me. And I can't wait for 
everyone else to play it. <laughs> I'm so hyped for more, Rob. Me too. We're, we're, nice. we're excited. Too. Thank you so much. No, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you for coming All on right. the show. Like, it's so great. Again, anyone who's watching and is interested in Dead Zone, you can go play and like fiddle with this amazing showcase yourself. You can customize your own gun. You can check out these amazing uh, monster models by Typhus. Um, yeah, so definitely go into Dreams. Do that. Find that on Dream Surfing that our amazing curation team has set up. Um, and uh, visit the booth, right? Hall 47, we did it. Yeah, <laughs> it's amazing, both of the best. Thank you so much. Thank oh, you so thank much. you for coming on the show. Yeah, have a great rest of your dreams, Tom. Uh, yeah, and we'll talk to you, I'm sure, in the future again.